Hello everyone. I'm here to do a review on a few products that I've been using for I say several months, probably six months if not longer. And it's from the company she sent it. And it's called the Cutie Pie line. This is a line that's um, for kids. But knowing me, I don't care if it's for kids or not. If it looks good, I'm going to try it. And I really, really love this line. Um, the product, first of all, is very gentle on my hair. Um, doesn't strip it. You know, it just feels really, to me, very light and very pleasant in my hair. Um, the first product I'm going to review is the She Scented Cutie Pie Leave-In Conditioner, which is like a detangling leave-in conditioner. And it looks like this and with the beautiful packaging. And I want to think the price of this ranges around like $12, if I'm not mistaken. But if I am, I'll put the information at the bottom in the box anyway for you to look at. But this is a wonderful leave-in conditioner. I'll show you the consistency. So the consistency is very watery base. And I'm not going to let it go to waste. Um, it's a very nice, pleasant leave-in conditioner. It's not thick, so if you're looking for something that's a little bit you know thinner translucent um, this is a great leave-in conditioner it makes my hair feel so good when I put it on because this is what I put on before styling my hair I just put it on my ends of my hair for my twist and then in the morning I just undo the twist so I can wear my twist out but it's it's very light very nice um, consistency um, again, you know, when you want to apply it, you want to make sure your hair is damp. And based on how it's used, you apply it to damp hair. You do not rinse it out because it is a leave-in conditioner. It um, has wonderful ingredients such as horsetail and yarrow ash scratch, shea butter, olive oil, um, sea kelp, pethanol. Pethanol helps with the growth of your hair. Um, so a lot of um, like good ingredients, but it's not like a long list of ingredients. Probably everything on here that I'm reading as the ingredients, I can understand it. And I don't like when I have to read ingredients on bottles or containers and I can't understand what it is. And then I got to go Google to see what the ingredients are because you never know if something is just like a silicone or something you don't want to put in your hair. But you got to research it and find out what it is. Um... This product is used to hydrate your strands. Um, they're supposed to help with less, less breakage, detangle, and condition your hair, helping it with growth. So it smells really good. It has a cake scent to it, like a vanilla kind of cake battery type scent. I noticed some of the she scented scents kind of smell similar, but this one smells really good. And again, it's good enough, not just for kids, but I think for adult hair as well. Um, like I said, I put it on my hair. Um, and I just think it works wonderful. I feel like my hair is soft, it's moisturized. Um, but for some reason last week when I put it in my hair, and it might have been because I was, comparing, I was pairing it up with something else that my hair wasn't liking. Um... My hair is just like very frizzy and puffy, but I don't, I, I won't say because of the conditioner. It might have been just the, the environment, you know, the weather, just going outside. Because my hair would be fine indoors, but as soon as I go outdoors and it's like a poof, it's just really poofy. Um, so I don't know what it was, and I had like, ma like major shrinkage. So I don't know what's the cause of that, but. Sometimes don't discredit a product just because you notice like one week it's not working well. You think maybe contributing to um, the way your hair is looking when it could just be other elements, you know, the weather, um, I guess the dew points, anything that can be uh, affecting your hair, especially living in a kind of dry, humid climate like I'm living in. 
Um, so just keep working with your products. You got to get creative with your products. And so that was where, but I think this is a really good leave-in conditioner. It's one of my staples. And I hope that she sent it never stops making this. It's, um, I'm not size, I'm not sure what size this bottle is, but I'll probably say, oh, it says on here, it's an eight ounce bottle. So again, this is a really good leave-in conditioner because sometimes I don't like really thick leave-in conditioners. Um, I like stuff that I can apply it in my hair and then, you know, just detangle it or, you know, um, cause when I detangle, I take my fingers like this and, or I know like a lot of people do the, the smoothing it down, but I just take my fingers and I do it like that to make sure all the strands have the leave-in conditioner on it. Um, so yeah, that's the leave-in conditioner. And the next thing that I like, because I bought the whole set, it comes with like a shampoo, a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, and a hair butter. The other, well, I ran out of conditioner, but I never repurchased that. And I have a little bit of shampoo, but I don't have it on me. It's in the other room. But it's just a regular shampoo, you know, I think very moisturizing. It's a great shampoo as well. I think the whole combo set works really nicely. But here's the Cutie Pie Hair Butter that I use to moisturize your hair. And I use this again for twists. It's used to moisturize your hair, helps to make combing easily, lots of moisture in order to prevent breakage and split ends and can be used daily. Again, very good ingredients. So I don't know if you can see that. But it's a wonderful hair butter, and I'll show you what it looks like. It smells kind of like a cake butter, but this time, the first one I bought smelled more like cake butter. This one smells more like, like a sweet, I don't know, like a sweet vanilla scent. So this is what it looks like, very creamy. So you can see it's not sticky, very smooth, creamy. You know, I think it's absolutely a wonderful hair butter um, to style twists, do braids, puffs, curls, whatever. I don't know how it would work on a wash and go. I've never used it for a wash and go, but it's very nice. I really like this line. I probably prefer it out of the She Scented line these two products because it just absolutely works wonders on my hair and, and of course hair butters comes in a lot of different consistencies um, most of the time they're creamy whipped type shea butters um, or you could end up getting something that looks like a pomade type of hair butter so um, this is more creamy so if you like creamy base you know um, and that's what you're pretty much get because pretty much everything from she sent is like very creamy base um, products so that's the she sent it line if you have any questions please leave them below or any comments and again thank you for watching um, just to share with my share with you about my hair I've been trying to scratch my hair and so um, I've been looking up techniques online and I did a twist. I washed my hair yesterday, did a twist, and then I just wrapped my twist around my head. There's a tutorial on YouTube showing you how to scratch your twist where you're just basically scratching your twist around your head and then you're going to bobby pin them. Um, I won't do a tutorial because I don't, I don't want to show what I look like with bobby pins in my hair but if someone requested it I guess I can show you um, how it's done but there is a tutorial online showing you how to do it so um, I've been trying to scratch my my twists because using my hair just goes straight into a um, a shrinkage afro which I don't mind shrinkage but sometimes you know if I'm going for a different look I don't want my hair you know, too much shrinkage. I wanted to scratch, but it just depends on my mood. 
I just make the I think it's just easier when it's scratched out for me. I like to see my length. Um, but again, that's the She Sent It review. Again, if you have any questions, sorry for my rant. No, not rant, my rambling. Um, but again, that's She Sent It. You know, look them up if you're interested. If you have any questions, um, leave them below. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi, I'm coming back just to share with you because on the last video that I just finished, I'm not sure if I gave explanation of how I use these products. Again, the leave-in conditioner is applied after I spray my concoction on my hair. So after freshly washed hair, I apply this after I spray my concoction on my hair, which basically just a mixture of oils and another leave-in conditioner. I know it's probably double conditioner my hair, but I don't think you can overly condition your hair. Um, so I apply this and then I put the hair butter over it as my styling product and then I just twist my hair um, so that's how I style with both um, and it's good it works for me when I apply a, apply it on a on damp hair not soaking wet hair but damp um, because if you're going to sleep at night in particular if your hair is still damp you may wake up in the morning to more frizz so you want to do your hair like early day or mid afternoon so it gives your hair enough time to dry I've gone to bed with wet hair and trust me I know from waking up it's not always good because if you're rolling around or whatever um, while you're sleeping your hair is you know either rubbing against your standing satin pillow like I sleep on or if your scarf is moving around sometimes they can add frizz that's personally for me it adds frizz but um you know, I really recommend you to, you know, use these butters on damp hair. I don't know how they work on dry hair, but the directions do say to use them on damp hair. So, again, that's just a quick um, information for you, uh, for those who are interested to know what, um, how you use the products. And it's very simple, you know, it's just like any regular conditioner. You just put it on your hair, you know, to add moisture, to protect your strands. And you just put the butter. The butter is pretty much your styling agent. So you just want to work them two products into your hair and then just twist. And then in the morning, or if you wear your twist out or you leave a twist in, however you want to do it, um... That's how you just take care of it. And I really love She Scented products. You know, they work wonders on my hair. But I won't advertise this to, you know, that it's going to work for everybody out there watching this video. If you're interested, you'll just have to try it at your, your own, um, I guess try it at your own risk, you know. Um, but just know if the product doesn't work for you and you buy it, give it to somebody else or find another way to use it like for a deep conditioner or something like that so it doesn't go completely to waste. So that's my um, little tidbit added onto this video. So again, thank you for watching and I'm going to show you some more She Scented products that I'm using right after this. Bye.